Hello guys and welcome back. In this Jepa Compose tutorial, we're going to see how we can create a splash screen in Jepa Compose. We'll create a splash screen with two ways and every way has its pros and cons. So stick around to see which is the best way to create a splash screen in Jepa Compose. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now let's create here a new coding class file and this one we're just going to call it landing page. And inside here, we can just create here our new composable and we can just call it landing page. So here inside our landing page here, we can pass in parameters. So we can just pass in first the modifier and we can make this to be a default modifier. And also here now we want to provide a callback that is going to help us to finish up the splash screen. And here we can just pass in the on time out. And this one is just going to return a unit here. So for that case here, now we can just create our simple UI here by passing inside here a box and we can just use here our modifier. And here now we can just make it to fill max size and also we can just provide, for example, a background color. And for our case here, we can just pass in color green. And also here we can just align the content to be alignment center. Okay, so now here our content are going to be aligned to the center. So what we want to do here now, we want to get the function that is going to be remembered so that whenever the time changes, we just finish up our execution. So we can just pass in here the current timeout. And basically here now we can pass in the on timeout. So whenever this function is going to change, we can just recompose our composables here. And for that case, now we can just use a launched effect. So a launch effect, this is going to relearn when this the key is going to change. So whenever the key changes, then this launch effect is going to be cancelled and rerun again. Now for our case, we are just passing here unit. So this one is not going to change when it's going to be executed once. Then after that, it's not going to change again. And we can just delay this for 200 milliseconds. So basically, we are going to delay this execution for two seconds and make our splash screen visible to the user. And now we can just create here our current timeout and we can just invoke here our function so that we can just cancel here our execution. And for that case here, now we can just pass in here our image to make this. This one is going to be displayed inside the splash screen. So you can just get a little creative here by adding other things which you want. So for our case, we're just going to pass in here a painter resource ID and I'm going to use a drawable. And for this case, I'm going to use my own logo. So you can just use any type of image or a vector. And basically here now we can just pass in null. Now for our case here, now we have our launch the effect and we have our landing page ready to use now let's jump to the main activity and try to use this landing page okay now we want to create a state that is going to help us to decide between showing the splash screen and the main content so what we can try to do here now we can just create enum class and this one we are just going to call it splash state and here we are just going to have two options which is shown and completed Okay, now we can just come beside here and create another composable that is going to be our main screen. Okay, so now we want to show two contents. So we want to animate between showing the splash screen and showing the main content. And the best candidate of animating this is just using the transitional API. So we can just create here a state that is going to help us to create these animations. So we can just create here a transition state. And here basically we are just creating a mutable transition state. And here we can just make the splash state to start with the shown. And for this case here, now we can just create here our transition. And we can use here the update transition state. And basically here now we can just pass in the transition state. And here we can just pass in our label. Okay, now we want to create a cross-fed animation between the, the content and the splash screen. So we can just create here two states. So we can animate here the content. So first we can just animate the splash. 
and here we want to animate the float and basically here now we can pass in the transition specification we are going to use here a twin animation and we can make the duration to be 100 millisecond and also this requires us to pass in here the label and here basically now we can just check if this state is going to be equal to splash screen shown then we want to start from 1f so we are just going from full opacity then we are just going to zero opacity so we want to animate the the visibility and for that case here we have already created our fading out animation so we can just make this to fade in and here we can just call this content alpha and here we can just increase this twin animation here to 300 for example and we can just change this from splash animation to content content alpha and here now we want to change this so this one is just going to start from 0f and we can directly go to increase the opacity up to 100 percent okay now here we can just create a box and if you have a screen that is going to be the main content so for our case we can just create this we have here our modifier and then we have passed inside here our contents which is going to be a box and this box contains a surface and an image inside there so we could have a complex screen there but for our case we're just going simple and here now we can just call our landing page and here basically now we can just pass in our modifier and here we can pass in the alpha and here we can pass in the splash alpha and also here now we want to change our transition state and basically here now we can pass in splash screen completed so here we have our state which is going to be invoked inside there and now we can just call here our start screen and here we have our content screen and we can just pass in here the modifier and also we can pass in the alpha modifier and we can pass in here the content alpha so for our case here this modifier is going to be used here okay now let's call here our main screen inside our set content before we launch up so we can just call here our main screen and for this case let's run here our application inside our application and see okay now our app is launched and the splash screen is going to be shown and then it's going to navigate off to the main screen but as you can see here you can spot here there is problems so the first screen is going to show up is first white then showing the splash screen and then it's going to show up the main content so this is not good because the views are going to be layout when the on start command is going to be called and here we have just a white blank screen which is going to be showing up so let me implement the splash screen api which is going to help us to display a splash screen without showing the white space bar now let's just see this so using this method we have the customization freedom which we can try to make anything which we want however we just going to show the white screen so in order to avoid showing up the white screen when we launch up the splash screen is to use the splash screen api and this splash screen api was introduced to android 12 and for now there is a compatibility layer that is going to help us to run it until api level 23 so to solve this problem of showing up the white screen we have to use that splash screen api so you can just navigate here to build that gradle file and you can just come to module up and below here now we can just add this dependency here so we have the android x core core splash screen version 1.00 beta 01 so it is in beta stage and i think anytime soon it's going to go to a stable release now we can just sync here our file and we can just start so now let's just come here to this android manifest file and when we come to this you can see that we are just using the theme here and this one is going to be used with the whole application and this one is just defined in terms of xml and you can be wondering that we have another theme that is being defined inside jetpack compose and this one is just going directly to use this in terms of jetpack jetpack compose so for our case this api uses this theme here to modify the items so let's create here another theme th which is going to help us to define the splash screen so we can just create here a new style and this one we are just going to call it starting 
And here now we can just customize and create our items, which is going to help us to define that as splashy screen. So first and foremost, we can just create here the background color. And here you can just define different colors. So you can just come here, for example, to this purple here. So from my case, I have defined this green here. So you can just press this button here and you can just choose any color which you want. And you have selected here your color. So our background color here, we can just pass in here the color to be green. And after that, we can just provide the icon which we want. So we can just pass in here window icon. And here we have the animated icon. So we can just pass in here the, an, an, I mean, animated icon or a normal icon. So for my case, I have just a normal icon. So I can just use a drawable and I have defined this icon here. So you could have any type of icon and you just define it inside there. And for that case, now we can just, so if you have an, an animated icon, you could define here the duration. So for example, here you have the animation duration and here basically you can just define your duration. So for my case, I'm just using a normal, so I'm just going to delete this. So what we have here, we can just define, for example, the post the splash screen. And here is just the theme which is going to be used by the rest of the application and for our case we have already defined this here by default so we can just pass in here theme dot splash screen tutorial and after that so when this finishes to execute this is going to use directly this theme here now for that case we can just come back here to our android manifest file and inside here our activity we can just try to change this to use another theme so this one is going to help us to execute that splash screen. Then after that, it's just going to use the normal splash screen by the rest of the application. Now let's just cross this. So in order to show that splash screen, we can just come here directly to our before the super.onCreate method and we can just install the splash screen. So we can just create here a variable and we can just call this splash. And here we can just call in install splash screen. And basically here now we have to install our splash screen and we can just customize this by providing animations. So we can just come here before the set content. And we can keep this set on exit animation listener. So for our case here now we can just come inside here and perform animations. So we have here our splash screen viewer. So we can just rename this reference here to splash and we can use this splash screen view and we can just get the icon so for example here we have our icon view so we can use this icon view to perform here different animations so for our case here we can just use this animate and inside here now we can just animate for example we can just set the duration 300 milliseconds or 200 milliseconds and also we can just provide here for example the scale x so you want this to shrink up so we can just make it to be 5f and here for example we can just use scale by and basically here now we are just going to create the shrinking animation and also we can just add in the fading animation so we can just pass inside here alpha and we can just make it to be 0f with end action so for our case here now we have to remove this splash viewer after we finish up to show this animation so we can just come here to splash screen viewer and we can just remove this and basically here now we can just call our set content inside here so instead of just calling it outside here so we can just come inside here with end action and also we can just pass in this set content okay now after that we can just start our animation here and basically here we're just going to show up our screens now for this case let's try to run our application and see the output and as you can see here we're just seeing two splash screen so because we have not removed that splash screen so we can just come here and remove this landing page here and let's try to rerun again and see Okay, now as you have seen there we have solved the problem of showing up the white screen first and we have been able to animate our our splash screen so this is just the best way in my opinion to implement a splash screen if you want to incorporate it inside your application 
And as you have seen that when you have another splash screen, which you implement it inside the Jetpack Compose. So starting from Android 12 by default, the Android system is going to use this splash screen API. So if you don't provide the mechanism and you use, for example, the Jetpack Compose part, which we have used earlier there. So you're going to have two splash screens that are going to be displayed. And this is just not really good. So to solve the problem, just use this splash screen API. So guys, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to provide the like and subscribe for more videos so for now let's leave it here see you in the next video bye bye